good morning vlog. I debated vlogging this because it's personal and not really embarrassing, but like personal. I'll just say it's personal. You guys know that I just started my IVF treatment and I just got on birth control and like we just got our pre-approval, like everything, everything. We're just in the beginning here. I started feeling not great. I, I don't know if it was because of the birth control or what, but I started really not feeling good and it made my anxiety spike. And I think part of that is the birth control because it's a hormone and part of it is post COVID. In the hospital, whenever I went there, um, the nurse that was taking care of me told me that she has a lot of her COVID patients who have like an anxiety afterwards that have like their body goes through that like trauma and it, it causes this like anxiety afterwards. I don't want to speak that on myself. I definitely don't want to speak that I am anxious or that I have anxiety now because I don't want to speak that over my life. But I told you guys I think that I was starting to have like a pain in my foot the other day, um, last week or a couple weeks ago. At first kind of just, you know, like it was a little bothersome, a little troublesome and I was just kind of like, what the heck is that? The more it happened, because this is like a pain, but it's like a numbing pain, like my foot goes numb almost. Whenever I rub the top, the bridge of my foot, like it goes numb, like it's the weirdest thing. And it, it immediately I thought, oh my God, these birth controls gave me a blood clot. And like my brain just jumped to like, I think the worst, outcome. I don't think I have a blood clot. I don't, I don't think that, but my brain automatically went there and it automatically thought the worst of the worst. And it made me incredibly anxious over the weekend. And the numbness has continued to stay like, and it, it feels, my leg feels weak from what it normally feels. Like it, it's just, it feels different. It feels just strange, right? I want to just get everything checked. I wanna get blood work done. I wanna get, you know, evaluated physically, like by a chiropractor. I wanna get, I just, for my own sanity and peace of mind, I need to make sure that my body is perfect in the sense of like, there's nothing wrong internally, externally, there's nothing wrong. Other than obviously that we can't get pregnant, but like in a sense of like medically necessary, I'm okay. Because I think that not a lot of people talk about post-COVID anxiety and me having COVID was extremely traumatizing. Like, I hate to use that word because it's such a dramatic word, but it literally put me in the hospital. Like, it put me in the hospital. Ugh, my mom's calling, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, mama knows about everything, obviously, and she's just calling to check on me, but kind of lost my train of thought what I was saying to you. But my point is, is that I, I want to get and I need to get just everything completely ruled out before I go any further with IVF because IVF is going to be a lot of medication and it's going to make my body feel all kinds of different ways and having that traumatic of an experience having COVID and being in the hospital and my heart and just like just everything that my body went through and that I went through like I'm normal I'm back to normal but at the same time like having a pain in my foot and a numbness in my foot made me go to worst case scenario and immediately think that the birth control was giving me a blood clot. You know what I mean? Like I just, I need a peace of mind before I go so hard into another medical procedure, not procedure, but another medical, oh my God, what? Oh, scared the shit out of me, don't do that. Into another medical process because I, I just need to make sure that my body is strong enough. Like I said, IVF is very, very intense and I just need to make sure that I'm I'm able to handle it physically and mentally because it is, it's a lot, it's a lot. And right now, <laughs> mentally, I, I feel like maybe I'm just not there yet. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I know it's gonna be a little bit of a disappointment maybe to some because we were on this journey together and I'm still going to be on this journey with you. It's just gonna be postponed a little bit because I have to know in my heart what's right for me and I know in my heart right now putting myself through that isn't right for me right now. Mentally, physically, it just isn't right for me right now. So I hope that you'll understand that and I hope that you'll stay on this journey um, because I still have a lot left to share. I was really, really gung-ho about IVF, but 
I have to listen to my body and I have to do what's right for me right now. And I hope that you'll understand that. Um, so I'm on my way right now to my second doctor's appointment of the day. <laughs> um, my first doctor's appointment wasn't necessarily a doctor. He's a doctor of chiropractic, so he is a doctor. But I went and saw a new chiropractor today and absolutely loved it. Um, he made me feel a little bit more content in knowing that my foot numbness is probably due to um, a pinched nerve or something like out of line with my back, like my spine, rather than it being like a medical condition. He told me that normally whenever you have like tingling or numbing, numbing sensations in your uh, extremities, it's a bilateral, meaning it's um, affecting both whenever it's like a medical problem. But if it's usually like one-sided, or if it's one side, it's usually just muscular. So he he saw me today, he cracked me something good. I mean, I barely, he was barely moving my neck and it was just like crack, 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 crack. So I definitely need some more adjustments. Um, he wants to see me six times. I'm gonna go under a bridge, so I'm gonna look weird. He wants to see me six times to just make sure everything is properly aligned and that everything looks good before he kind of gives a stamp of approval. But um, with that, I'm going to get adjustments. I'm also going to be on what's called a TENS unit where they like stick little pads on your body and it just like zap, 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 like it puts electrodes through your body. That felt cool. I've done that before at home, but obviously it doesn't take one time and then you're cured. It takes a couple of different adjustments for it to be, you know, done. I'm excited about it. I'm excited that, you know, he kind of gave me a little bit of peace knowing that because the numbness is only on one side, it's most likely not something medically wrong. You know, it's most likely not something detrimental. Obviously, I'm still going to my primary doctor because I just want to rule everything out. I told her, <laughs> I'm going to tell her today, I, I want to do the full blood work, workup, thyroid, you know, every little thing under the sun that you could test for. I just want it to be taken for the blood work um, just so I can, you know, have a peace of mind knowing and then also I'm going to talk to her about the tingliness in my leg as well, just so she's aware of it. So that's what I was meaning when I said, like, I just need a peace of mind for myself because I'm, I'm feeling like a little nervous, I'll say, for my health. Um, and I don't like the nervous feeling for my health. I don't like feeling like, what could it be? What does it mean? Da, 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 da. You know, like, I don't. I don't like that feeling. So I'm going to do everything to rule out everything. And then once everything is ruled out, then I will continue with IVF or, you know, any other kind of fertility treatment that's needed. One thing that my chiropractor told me today was kind of cool. He told me that um, he has had three patients actually that he's treated um, and they were able to conceive after, after he treated them. So I was like, oh, okay. Like, I'm down for that. He's like, I can't guarantee it. And I'm not saying, you know, that's what's going to happen. Cause obviously I was telling him about like my major concerns. Um, but he was like, you know, it's definitely been seen. Like it's not completely unheard of. So that's awesome. You know, maybe I can save myself all of the <laughs> headache of IVF and just do some chiropractic adjustments and boom, baby. Anyway, I hope that you guys will understand and um, support me as I go through this. I, in no way, shape or form, would have ever expected such a reaction um, to like something so simple. I mean, this is like the first health concern that I've had since having COVID and I didn't anticipate it to affect me so dramatically, if that makes sense, because I have never reacted like this before to any kind of health concern. Before it was like, oh, you know, this hurts. Let me go get it checked out. Oh, we're good. Okay. But this time it's like, oh, this hurts. What could it be? Could it be this? Could it be that? Oh my God. What if it's this? What if it's that? And it just put me in like a, an anxious spiral and I, I hated it. I hated it. I told Manny like over and over again, like, I'm just ready to feel normal. Like I just want to feel normal. And I think IVF is a lot of hormones and obviously the birth control is the first start and i think that i just need to let my body breathe for a little bit and like just be my body and not put any kind of foreign substances in it being birth control or hormones or injections or, or anything and just like let it be before going forward with any kind of treatments because i just need 
I need to feel like I've reclaimed my body and like my body is my body again. I, I hope that makes sense. I, I hope I'm making sense, but <laughs> it makes sense to me because I'm the one experiencing it. But I'm here at the doctor's now though, so I'm gonna go in and um, I probably won't have any results today because she's just gonna be taking blood work and everything, but I did bring my prescription for my birth control so that I could show her how much I took before I stopped taking them because I made the decision over the weekend that I was just gonna stop taking them. I'll let you guys know what she says as far as my health wise. I will let you guys know. Obviously I'm praying and hoping and, and thinking it's gonna be a clean bill of health. Okay, just got out of the doctors. They took a bunch of blood. She's gonna run labs for vitamins. She's gonna run labs for my thyroid. I mean, pretty much everything. But then she also ordered a sonogram for my leg just to see the veins to make sure there's no like blood clots she said what it sounds like is like a pinched nerve basically or like a a nerve like i aggravated it um for the vein thing i don't know what it's called but the the sonogram of my vein they were trying to schedule it for today but i was like i <laughs> I can't today because Tristan has an appointment today for a follow-up and then I was thinking about going to it's called the salt room and it's supposed to be like an immune boosting and like it's just supposed to be really healthy for you um, to go like sit in this salt room for 45 minutes so I was thinking about doing that yeah I I don't have time to go today and she put stat on the paper like to go get this done today but when she left the room she made me feel like ah it's a pinched nerve or you know like it's you're fine like it's not a big deal but then to write stat on the paperwork i have no idea why she would have done that either way i mean i'm not I'm not overly worried about it she's very reassuring that like i'm young and there's nothing wrong with me and that maybe i'm just under too much stress as of late and that we're gonna have a baby no problem and you know just very reassuring and I was like no I know I just want to make sure and just be safe so yeah so that's where we're at right now I've got that scheduled or is getting scheduled I told them that I needed to leave right now because I need to go pick up Tristan from school so they're gonna try to schedule something for me for the vein um, sonogram or ultrasound or whatever it's called uh, just to make sure that there's no blockages and everything but she said she's gonna run my blood she said it looks fine oh they're calling me now Oh, they're quick getting it scheduled. They have it tomorrow at 10.30, so I will go get my veins ultrasound tomorrow at 10.30 and just, just rule everything out with this numbness of my right foot and right leg area. We'll be able to completely rule out any blood clots, any problems like that, and then we just continue with the chiropractic appointments to make sure that I'm in tip-top shape so that hopefully this year, not hopefully, so that this year we can have a baby or at least get pregnant this year because at this point it's going to be too late in the year to have a baby by this year, but at least get pregnant this year. Hi, so it has been some time since I was in the car and since I talked to you guys last, but I just wanted to kind of sit down and clarify a little bit what I was talking about in the car because I feel like I was still processing everything as I was like going over it with you guys and I feel like it might have been like a little confusing to start with. I haven't gotten my blood work back yet. My doctor literally sent for everything under the sun like she's testing me for like rheumato rheumatoid arthritis and like literally everything. She's just doing a full blood workup because I was kind of in panic mode um, last week whenever I went and saw her. The blood work hasn't come back yet, but I'm feeling better, which is the main thing. Last week I felt, I can't even describe it to you. Like I felt like something was wrong. Like I don't know how else to describe it other than something was wrong and I didn't know what it was, but I knew that I needed to figure it out because I was just unsettled. And I feel like a lot of that was from the birth control. I feel like the birth control put like a lot of hormones in my body and they really did a number on me and I didn't feel them for a while because like obviously it takes a while for them to like get into your body and like, you know, everything like that. So I didn't feel them for like a little while, but after a week, it was like a week and some odd days, it was very clear that I was being affected negatively from the birth control. That's really unfortunate because obviously with IVF, the first step is getting on birth control so that you can sync your cycle with the labs and with 
everything that has to happen for IVF. So with that being said, I've decided that I just kind of want to take a step back and just kind of take a break. 2022 has been a really really rough year for me obviously you guys have seen it. it it's been it's been really challenging and i think like i told you guys in the car i need to kind of process and work through the trauma that it, i've experienced this year because i've never i've never experienced a sickness that like escalated so far as to put me in the hospital thank god nothing was found and there's nothing that i need to follow up on and all the tests are looking fantastic and you know everything is pointing in the right direction however i've never experienced anything like that and i think i'm i'm still just processing it i i really feel like i need to allow myself time i need to allow myself just space and be able to like get out of this mindset of like next doctor's appointment next blood work next doctors next blood work next appointment next this next that like it kind of happened in the same kind of cycle whenever i got a little bit like i don't want to say obsessive but whenever i got on the same kind of like repetitive cycle of like taking tests like okay this month it didn't work okay let's take ovulation test okay next is pregnancy test oh didn't work take an ovulation test next pregnancy like it just I get stuck in these cycles and these vicious loops of like again and again and again and I'm I'm just I'm tired. <laughs> I'm ready to just take a step back from everything. I want to be able to just settle into a routine because since October when I got my new job, it's been training and it's been, you know, learning and everything has been new 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 and I haven't found that routine yet. I haven't found that rhythm yet. And I think that that has a lot to do with it too because like I've expressed to you guys before, not only do I feel like bombarded with work whenever I'm working because I'm still learning and you know trying to figure it out, but also like I feel guilty because of all the doctor's appointments and all the time I'm missing and falling behind and catching up and falling behind and catching up. And it's just, it's not a healthy place to be right now for me and I think I've finally realized that and I think that I was just trying to like push through it because at the end of the, the day I do ultimately want a baby but I feel like I was sacrificing so much more to get to the end goal that I didn't realize how much damage I was doing right now. So yeah I just kind of wanted to to tie up this vlog. I know it's a little bit difficult to hear me in some sections. Sorry, I was vlogging while I was driving and processing while I was driving and just kind of like going through it in the moment with you. But now I've had some time to just kind of sit on it and I've made my decision. Manny and I have both made the decision and we are going to step back from IVF. We're going to step back from fertility treatments. We are going to just take a step back and allow the time that I need to settle in a job that I'm just still learning, allow the time that we need for my body to be completely healed, both internally and externally, meaning like sickness and also like mental, um, because I feel like I didn't allow myself that time and it kind of is like a snowball effect. And if I continue it, it's only gonna get bigger and it's gonna get worse and I don't want that. I can't have that. So that's what we've decided. And like I said in the car, that's kind of where we were leaning, uh, where I was leaning. But, you know, like I said, now I've had time to really reflect on it, really sit on it and really just go through it together with Manny and really process it. And ultimately, I think this is going to be the best decision for us, primarily me, because it's a lot. <laughs> um, I don't know how long we're going to wait because I have, you know, my insurance and I have benefits and everything that, you know, are kind of on a timely time on a timeline right now so i don't know how long we're going to step back from this but i just want to allow my time or i want to allow myself time to just feel normal for a while and happy and just live life and like i said find a routine find that comfort in just being who i am in the position that i'm at right now in the time of my life that i'm in right now and then move forward because all of it happening all at once just wasn't working. And I think that will help also with trying to conceive ultimately because I won't be so stressed out all the time because as much as like I, you know, have very peppy and optimistic outlook and I always do and I always will, internally my body has been very stressed, 
very stressed and I know it and you guys probably know it too. Manny definitely knows it. So it's just time to just rest. So going forward, the vlogs are going to definitely change just so you're aware. Uh, I hope that you'll stick around for the new stuff because I was ramping up for IVF, but like I said, we have decided to completely step back from that and just put that on hold for now. Um, so what that means is more family vlogs with Tristan. I, uh, you know, I have my son. We do stuff together all the time. We just celebrated his 11th birthday. Maybe more Disney trips, just more life, more enjoying life and less focus on TTC. We are still going to be taking advantage of our times, of our windows. If it happens, amazing. Amazing. It happens. But right now, we won't be seeking fertility treatments to force it to happen. Yeah, like I said, I hope that you understand. I hope that you'll stick with me through this. It's not an easy decision to make, but it's definitely one that needs to be made. <sighs> anyway, that's kind of what I wanted to clarify and just let it be known that right now that's that's where we're at. You can definitely expect some fun adventures coming up. I have already started booking <laughs> vacations and Disney trips and I think I really just want to, I want to get back to just feeling normal again and just living life and enjoying life and not just going, okay, well now what? Okay, well now what? Okay, well now what? No, no more of that. Anyway, I hope you understand. I hope you'll stick around. Thank you for being here. I love you and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.